Hello, my beautiful Taurus friends. We are here to do your you versus them reading, your feelings versus your person of interest feelings towards you. Okay. So we have for your overarching energy, Taurus, listening. Okay, so you both want to listen to one another. Um, there is follow the leader. So both of you sort of take turns leading in this relationship. And we have balancing act. It takes, uh, takes some balance to do this. Your feelings are the three of cups, and the temperance card. You feel really in love with this person. You feel like this person could be your best friend. You know, I want to marry my best friend. I want to marry my my lover. I want to be with the person who uh, nourishes me, gives me lots of emotions, with whom I can celebrate life with. I'm willing to swim across an ocean to get to this person. I'll do whatever it takes. I'm I am a tiger, and the water may seem unfamiliar to me, but I will do what is necessary is how you're feeling Taurus when we look at the energy of the star card and the king of swords you have looked at that these are both Aquarius energies so there's something that seems very um, desirable in an alluring way you feel as though this person is kind of a rock star you feel as though you are attracted to the mystery of the king of swords the aloofness and you know what this really says is that you're drawn into this person you may be taken by their looks and the aloofness you feel is something that goes along with that the energy here says that hopes and dreams for love can come true, and that is how you feel about this person. But you also are analyzing this person very, very, in very minute ways. It's almost like you literally study this person. The Queen of Discs and the Hermit card says that you are not together all the time. The Queen of Discs is a very strong that's Capricorn Queen energy you know you're it looks with the hermit card it looks as though you've been alone you are alone you are not in union with this person you miss them you may have known them through work but I'm getting that for some of you you may feel as though a best friend is somebody that you covet as a lover and it has not materialized that hasn't happened Let's look at your person and see what their energy is towards you. High Priestess, okay. So we get High Priestess and Magician energy. So they're hiding their feelings. They do have a strong sense of love and attraction towards you, but they keep it to themselves, very discreet. This person's very bright. They feel as though they put you on a pedestal. They see you possibly as a rock star. The Magician card is again, they're trying to manifest your energy. They want to be with you. You know, they, they, but they aren't talking about it. They almost refuse patently to talk to you about this energy and relationship. I get the world card. They see this as sort of a, something that can't really come into fruition. They're manifesting you. They're creating this intense desire in you. But I also get them... Um, self-imposed restriction they feel as though they've gone the distance they've given you as much as they can give you that the world card is the highest level of completion so whatever magic has taken place whatever level of friendship whatever you've achieved i'm getting the cards that indicate that they are under like house arrest they've put themselves under house arrest like i'm not going to go any further you know for some of you what i'm seeing here is that what you may or may not know, depends on, uh, you know, each of you, what you may or may not know about this person and the way they feel is they are juggling. I get the Sneaky Pete card and I get that most likely they are in a marriage that they have no intention of leaving. Now, I don't even necessarily know that you're in union per se because I'm not seeing the actual lover's card. I'm not seeing connection. So I feel that for many of you, this could be a relationship from afar. One, a relation, another option would be that this is a relationship that has been over for some time and you still long for them. You know, that you're, you're okay alone, that you've healed. You know, we've got the star card there, but I feel as though this person 
with the sneaky peek card next to the juggling and the death card is that, you know, and I'm not, I think these cards were more like this, but at any rate, what I'm seeing is somebody who gives lip service. I hate to say it that way, but they give lip service. They want to be with you. So that's actually not lip service. They really find you magical. They would love to be with you. They find you alluring. They find you attractive. They feel as though you're the best lover, the best mate, the best person they've ever been in their life with because that's a high level of satisfaction. But they're not going to change their circumstance. And their circumstance is they're juggling to, they're dishonest when they need to be, they hide whatever they think you shouldn't see. It does look like they're in a traditional relationship. And it, it is a balancing act for them. So let's look at the mutual energy between the two of you. Okay, so what I'm getting, I wanna pull these closer, okay. What I'm getting here is a mutual energy is that, that a reality has come to pass. And that reality, the way I'm reading this is that it's very clear that you feel Taurus very much like this person has stabbed you in the back. And, and you know, you'd have a reason to feel that way. Sneaky peek card, lying, you know, sort of stealing to get what they want, stealing the truth to get what they want. That is definitely a card of sneakiness. I feel as though when they met you, they presented themselves as being a soulmate. And I think you are to a large degree. I mean, I think the two of you have an incredibly um, good connection in terms of the emotional uh, aspect, you know. We get the ten, these are really great cards for connection, temperance, um, you know, the star, the three of cups, the, in fact, your person might even be more in love with you than you are them. But I get them very, very stubborn about doing anything to leave a marriage or a, a marriage like relationship. And so the, the mutual energy here is that it's very clear that something has come to an end in a certain way. The relationships, the feelings are still there, but there is a sense of betrayal. Uh, the movement of swords also says that basically when I get the movement of swords and the devil card, you feel appropriately so that they were very, very stealthy with you. The devil card is again, that you, this person you know, really treated you in a manner that wasn't very kind. The devil card means they controlled the situation, they controlled the dialogue, they controlled the narrative uh, to get what they wanted from you, and they were ever so happy. The magician card again is coming up in that um, you, you may have known that they were married, you may have just hoped beyond hope that they would leave their spouse. But what I'm getting here is that this person will continue. They will, will continue to pursue you and you will continue to pursue them because of the temperance card. You know, what I'm getting here is that though you will be alone and though you are the queen of pentacles, this doesn't look like a union that's coming into play. What I'm seeing here is both of you have the energy of passion. You share that. The magician card is also a secret, right? Magicians have secrets. The high priestess is keep secrets, the keeper of secrets. So what I'm getting is a relationship in which I feel as though you admire each other. I feel as though there's a great deal of love, affection. I get that actually, Taurus, you're, you maybe have a really strong ability to, to carry on in this relationship. Now let's go ahead and look at the messages of love from the Oracle cards. There's a real magic, there's a real chemistry, but it is fraught with an underbelly of, um, yeah, denial, here we go, denial. This person is not going to leave, Taurus. This person is not going to leave. I really hate to say that to you, fate. This is a destined partnership, but you know, a lot of times when we get this, when we get the devil card, mastery, you've learned a spiritual lesson. There's our star card right there. Play hard, it's time to laugh. So that's your advice from spirit. 
go out, have fun, seek stability. That's what you need right now. So let's see, why is a devil card here? Give us something on the devil card. Retreat, time alone helps you recharge. And so you have the hermit card over here. So you are doing the right thing for yourself, but why do we have the Ace of Wands? There's a lot of passion that both of you want going forward. Friendship. This friendship is leading to more. Well, friends with benefits, I have to say. I don't like the term too much. It usually has, but this is a friends. When we see, you see this person as a star, you're willing to really go the distance. Why is the um, King of Swords here for you, Taurus? Why is the King of Swords here? for you. Working less will help you strengthen the relationship. You may know each other at work. I feel as though that you may have that connection. Unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement also. You've sort of frozen your emotions. The King of Swords is somebody who is very aloof and really conceals their emotions. So. That is your you versus them reading, Taurus. It's a tough one. Um, again, the storyline seems really, really clear. If this doesn't resonate with you, please be sure to check your ascendant moon and rising signs. Uh, excuse me, moon, rising, and Venus signs uh, because this relationship does, it looks stalemated is what I'm getting at this time. All right, thank you. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back.